the last thing I wanted to say, and you heard the governor talk about the healthcare heroes. All of us have uh, talked about how the hospital workers have worked tirelessly to keep people uh, alive as they're again and again uh, having patients come, uh, having on, them on ventilators, having them be critically ill, and I know how tired they are. I just want to say public health has worked uh, in a quiet way behind the scenes throughout this pandemic to vaccinate um, earlier to test, and now we are testing and vaccinating throughout the state. And I've become aware that many of our line workers who are doing these vaccinations are receiving threats, are receiving hostile emails, or harassing emails. That's something that, as you know, happened to me early on. Maybe it comes to the territory of someone at my position, but it shouldn't be happening to those nurses who are working in the field to try to keep this, uh, this, safe, this state safe. And when I heard that uh, one mobile event uh, in, in, one, in one town had to close down because of the harassment, bullying, and threats that were directed at, the, at the, our team, I just said, this is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. These people are giving their lives to help others and to help us in the state. We in Georgia can do better. We should be thanking these individuals who are trying to get life-saving vaccines to our state. And I'm just sorry to, to let you know about this because I wasn't fully aware of what was happening uh, at some of our vaccination sites until just this weekend. Thank you.